So you've all got the model, which is SRD06. Clocks, this is log normal relaxed clock. Trees, constant size population. States don't need to worry about priors. What would have come up yellow would have been this, this one, which should be set to, so this is CP1 plus two. This is the rate multiplier for the first and second codons. This initial value of one, upper value of 100, lower of zero on a uniform distribution. For, C, for the third codon position, it's uh, the same, same uniform distribution, initial of one, upper of 100, lower of zero. But then the all important clock rate that should be a normal distribution set to 5e minus 3, so um, 5 thousandths as initial value, a mean of 5 thousandths of initial value, standard deviation of 3 thousandths, and truncated between 0 and 0.1. Operators don't need to do anything about MCMC chain, the default values, the length of chain, and the writing to the parameters of 1000 to fine, and then just give it a longer file name to describe what things you set. And then you click generate beast file, and it should generate you an XML file. Excitingly, if I can remember where I've done it. So I just dropped this one into temp. So this is, this is the file you should generate, an XML file. Now, I'll just briefly show you, this is not really designed to be human readable. It is sort of human readable. Um, I'll just briefly show you what this file is. It has a whole load of taxa data. Excuse me. A whole load of sequence data written inside it, and then a whole load of things that describe all the settings you've done. It's doing it in XML format, so it's really for the beast program to read. Although if you looked at it carefully yourself, you could see what. Um, things that were like, for example, here, you recognize the HKY model. So <coughs> what I'll show you briefly now, although again, you might need a bit of time to, um, to do it yourself, is if you're going to run Beast, which, as I said before, you should really only, oops, sorry, wrong, wrong place. You should really, um, only just start it running in beast. I wouldn't, don't let it go to completion. It will take far, far too long. But to show you how it's done, again, training software, software, beast 180. So if you open beast itself, the beast program, run. Okay, it loads up a bit and then all you need to do is select that XML file that you generated. So I'll try to find mine where I put it in some ridiculous place. Okay, and click run and something will happen. Now, these computers are, will run Beast, but they won't run very sophisticated Beast. So if you try to use a too complicated model, it, it will break, and it will also take a very long time to run. However, you can see that here something is happening, and it is writing files to your disk. I will just show you what it is writing. Um, and then once you've seen what it's doing, so it's writing a log files and a trees file. Okay. Oops. which is good, but now I'm going to kill this off. No, I don't, want to, I don't want to save that, I'll just 
kill it off because it's it started that was good enough and it's generated some things. <laughs>